Scott Orland with Cinema Magazine. The movie is called Suburbicon, and the man responsible for it is sitting right there, George Clooney. Uh, director, writer, mm -hmm. but this time, not the star. Not What's acting. it like not to have to direct George Clooney? Well, it's really not, uh, it's fun not to even talk about George Clooney in the third person, actually. Uh, hey, listen, it's so much easier not to have to direct yourself. It's such a drag to do that. And, you know, the part that originally, 20 years ago, that I talked about playing was the part that Oscar Isaac is playing. And if you get Oscar Isaac to play, you've got a much better actor. So it's really fun to have him. Really fun to have him. This is one of those movies that I'm sure when you initially started it, 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 it kind of had one perception for you. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden when you're making it, when it comes out, it's timely. It's like the China syndrome. It's like, yeah. oh my God, this is really happening. Well, you know, I mean, Scott, unfortunately, um, uh, racism, these eruptions of race, uh, are nothing new and they are going to constantly happen. We haven't purged ourselves of these, of these issues completely. I grew up in the South during the Civil Rights Movement, you know, in the 60s and 70s, and I thought we were going to have it finished. You know, segregation was going to be over and everything was going to be fine, and we really never completed that. And so when you tell a story like this and these things continually pop up, it's not really shocking. You know, I wish, I wish it was, but it isn't. But what's fascinating watching this movie, and I don't want to give too much away, is that it's literally like, the right hand is doing this, and no one's paying attention to the other hand, yeah. and that's the one that's really doing something. That it's, fun, so looking. it's fun to do. I, mean, I think storytelling is always interesting when you say you're looking that, you look in the wrong direction. And I always think that that's a, a, a good way to tell stories, and, uh, and I like that. And I thought that this was a perfect version of it because you could take these characters that the Coens sort of invented, these absolute maniacs, um, and you could put them in a, in a situation where you're looking you know, you're asking the audience to look in a different direction, and I think that's fun. Speaking of fun, how difficult was it to get your leading man to ride a tricycle? Well, here, it's a bicycle. It's worse. Now, I rode around on that thing for about six hours just to make sure he could do it, and, you know, your knees are flying out either way, and I rode around and rode around. All, everybody had horrible photos of me riding around on the thing, and then I handed it to Matt, and he goes, I don't think I can ride it, and I go, I just rode it for six hours. Get on that thing. But he's, I mean... You know, the thing that's beautiful about Matt, and you've known him a very long time, is first of all, he's incredibly talented as an actor. People overlook that. But he's also really willing to just play the fool. You know, he's thrilled to do it. Here's the guy who's, you know, the born guy and he's a badass. And, and then all of a sudden, he's just a big goofball. And I love when he does those kind of parts. And I want to ask you about George Clooney, the director, mm. because you've been doing it now for you know, more than a dozen years. Mm -hmm. How do you think you've evolved? Are you more confident? Do you think that you've learned more camera or skill techniques? I've always been interested, you know, I think as a actor turned director, I've focused a good deal on visual, which a lot of actor turned directors don't do. I've worked a lot on cameras. I, you know, I, I, uh, uh, I used to do caricatures at a mall, and so I can draw storyboards out with, a, with another storyboard artist and with the production designer, so we can really hammer out the shots of like you know silhouettes and blood on the doorknob and those kind of things so I like the visual aspects of it I like playing with that I like the idea of changing the film style from uh, pillow talk in the beginning to like Douglas Sirk to Hitchcock I like crashing all the lights on the ground and blowing the shadows up against the wall I like all those kind of things so I think playing with visual uh, uh, visually is really exciting for me so I think that's where I'm growing something. You don't direct twins, they direct you. They get up, one cries, then the other one goes to sleep, then the other one cries, then the other one goes it's, it's, it's hysterical. I mean, really, it is like juggling cats, but, uh, but it is fun, man. George Clooney, as always, congratulations. Thank it's you great so to much. see you, Scott. And this is Scott Wolf. Until next time. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs>